And welcome back to Inside the Valley on this Sunday morning. Well, right now we're talking about Leadership Brownsville. Find out a little bit more about what they do. Also, a fantastic fundraiser they have coming up called Fly Me to the Moon. Talk a little bit more about Leadership Brownsville. Of course, their big fundraiser. We have Michael Lemus on the show. It's great to see you, sir. Thank you for having me this morning. It's my pleasure. It's your first time being on the show. Yes, and I'm really excited to be here. And it's fantastic that you are here because what is Leadership Brownsville? It's a great question. So Leadership, De Browns Leadership Brownsville development program that they have throughout the country, but in Brownsville, it's been in existence for over 30 years. Wow. And what we do is we have a cohort of individuals that apply and that are accepted into the program. It's a nine month course and we're exposed to different facets of our community, everything from education to economic development to healthcare. And through that exposure, our goal is that individuals understand what's happening in our city that's going very well, some areas that need help. Right. And through that experience, they take action at the completion of the program. They volunteer, they can do philanthropy, uh, you know, run for public office. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we've been doing for over the last 30 years. Wow, so these people who are applying to be a part of Leadership Brownsville, are they professionals already in the community, whether that be teachers, uh, doctors, lawyers, anybody like that, are they applying for these positions? Or? Yeah, great question. And it's a melting pot of folks from all different ages. Uh, folks working, you know, small business owners, professionals, educators, like you mentioned. So it's a melting pot of folks uh, every single year. Now tell me, it's been around for 30 years. What are some of the goals, the accomplishments that Leadership Brownsville has been able to do? Well, that's a great question too. Um, you know, we do a project every single year. That's part of the, the class requirement. And for example, this last class, they did a walking, a podcast walking tour of downtown Brownsville. Oh, it's phenomenal. Yeah. Everybody across the globe can listen to it and you can actually follow the, the tracks and walk through downtown and get a little bit of history on each uh, individual place. Wow, so that's almost too kind of like a, a great marketing thing too yeah. for anybody who wants yeah, to. Yeah, it's a great project. I don't know if you live up north and you want to get rid of the snow or you're <laughs> sick of the snow and you want to come down south and be on the beach, close to the beach. This is a great little marketing tool as well. Yeah. Now, uh, does it cost anything to be a part of the program or get involved in the program? It's a great question. And, and there is a tuition fee. Okay. Uh, all programs do charge a tuition fee. And that's exactly why we're, we're doing the fundraiser because the tuition covers only so much and sure. the rest is subsidized by corporate and local sponsors. Uh -huh. And that's the driving force behind wanting to, to do the Fly Me to the Moon fundraiser is so that we can do one big fundraiser, generate as much money as possible, and that way we can provide the best program possible, bring in leadership development coaches, and just have a the wow factor, if you will, for, yeah. for the class. What's the project, if you can tell us, that you guys are working on this year? Can you say, or is that kind of top secret? So the project per class, they decide and they bring up their, their uh, proposals to the board, uh -huh. and the board of directors decides which project to go with, mm -hmm. and they have to complete the project throughout the, the program. Okay, one last question before we start talking about the fundraiser. Yeah. Uh, how many people can you take in the program? Is there a limited number? It really varies. We get uh, a number of applicants, and we have an application committee that's going to decide who comes in uh, but we average around 20 to 30 folks eat every class wow and how do people apply can they just do that online or do they have to go in there and submit an essay form or how do they kind of yeah so we're very active on social media so you can find us on Facebook but you can also visit leadershipbrownsville.org mm -hmm. and we have the application which we're actually taking applications right now okay great um, and uh, you can access the application through the website as well awesome now let's start talking about the fundraiser because yeah. I'm really intrigued by this yeah. uh, take me to the moon yeah. Or fly me to the fly moon. Me to the Excuse moon. me. Yeah, close, close. Both. I'm, we're going to the moon. <laughs> we're going. We're going. Um, so tell me, like, what is this all about? Yeah, like I mentioned, uh, uh, we just want to be very, um, you know, very proactive about fundraising. We used to do small fundraisers throughout the year. So we decided as a board of directors to do one big one. Right. It's going to be a phenomenal evening. We have the Lost Puppies. It's a local band. They're phenomenal. They'll be singing. We're going to have food. We're going to have drinks. It's going to be a, a big, big show. We've got some surprises for everybody. Sure. Uh, we're, we're also going to be doing a silent auction. And so we're really excited, uh, you know, multiple reasons why we're doing it to provide a great experience for the class members. We really want to get our alumni involved as well. We yeah. have a large, large group of alumni that have gone through the program. We want to reconnect with those folks. Uh, and ultimately, if we have additional monies, we want to provide something for another local nonprofit and that's going to benefit the community. Absolutely. Now, when is the big fundraiser? It's August 10th. August it's 10th. in okay, Brownsville. So yeah. Okay. The Brownsville Event Center, August 10th. Uh, we do have individual tickets for sale. Okay. Uh, we're also doing sponsorships. So if you want to sponsor a table, your organization can sponsor it. 
We got very, very lucky and we have a signature sponsor with Valley Baptist. Wow. So they, they did a phenomenal donation. We're really excited to have that and they're, they're going to be uh, headlining our sponsorship level. Okay. Uh, but we still have plenty of room for more uh, sponsors. And again, individual tickets are also available. It's going to be the event of the year. How much? Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a good one yeah. for sure. How much are individual tickets? Uh, and also, can people buy tables? Yeah, so uh, the individual tickets start at $50, and then sponsorship tables go from $500 and up. Okay, perfect. And what time do the doors open? At 7 o'clock, but depending on the, the sponsorship level, sure. we're going to have a VIP uh, toast oh, wow. that starts at 6.30, so that's going to be a really good time as well. Um, but yes, uh, we start, the doors open at 7 o'clock. I have to ask you just from the title, uh, Fly Me to the Moon, sounds like the attire is going to be kind of... Yeah, we're trying to keep it classy. <laughs> yeah, so kind of classic we're, look. We're, we're encouraging black and white attire. Sure. Uh, kind of a throwback to the Frank Sinatra days. Yeah. And so really excited about that. Everyone gets dressed up and, and looks forward for something to do. Mm -hmm. And so we are encouraging black and white attire. It's not necessary, but it's it's encouraged. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. Uh, folks, if you're just joining us right now on Inside the Valley on this Sunday morning, we're talking with uh, Michael Limas from Leadership Brownsville about a great fundraiser that they have coming up called Fly Me to the Moon. It's uh, uh, going to be a great event. Uh, it's something that you definitely won't want to miss. Uh, Michael, for the folks who are tuning in right now. Let's just go over uh, sure. real quickly what Leadership Brownsville is all about and then talk about this fundraiser and how that fundraiser is going to correlate with Leadership Brownsville. Great. So again, Leadership Brownsville is a leadership development program that's been in existence for over 30 years in Brownsville. And really, it's a, a cohort of students or, or class members that go through this process that takes nine months mm -hmm. and they're exposed to different facets of the city from nonprofit to economic development and at the completion of nine, month, nine months, they graduate from the program. And our hope and goal is that they are active members in the community. Mm -hmm. And the purpose and driving force behind the fundraiser is to generate funds so that we can provide a stellar program for the next class, class 33. Mm -hmm. And so the process um, is, again, there's tuition involved per class member but it's subsidized with the donations that we're receiving from corporate and local sponsors. And as you said a little bit earlier, uh, each program group or class comes up with a project that they like to do, yeah. uh, a yearly project, and, and that's always awesome. I mean, yeah. The last one was a podcast downtown Brownsville, which sounds yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Where can people get a little bit more information, whether that be on Leadership Brownsville or whether that be on the fundraiser? Yeah, so for information on Leadership Brownsville, just visit us at leadershipbrownsville.org. That's our website, and you mm -hmm. can find information on the fundraiser there as well. Uh, but also on Facebook, just look up Leadership Brownsville via Facebook and we're very active on social media there. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. Michael, it's great seeing you for the first time. Yeah, Welcome to, happy uh, to be show. here. Yeah, yeah, you did a great job. Thank uh, you. Folks, we posted some more information there on your screen. If you're on your Facebook page right now, log off because you want to go to leadershipbrownsville.org to get your tickets to find out a little bit more information about this fantastic fundraiser called Fly Me to the Moon. But don't worry if you're not on your internet right now or on your camera computer. All you have to do is call this number 280-2039. Michael, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Folks, don't go anywhere on this Sunday morning. When we come back, we are going to be talking to the folks from Palmer Drug Abuse Program about a great event that they have coming up. Don't go anywhere.